Hi, welcome. Today I'm adding a gas line for a gas range. Our house has gas, but the only thing that's gas currently is the furnace. So we're going to tap into that, run a line over it so that I can have a gas stove because I like cooking on a gas stove. Uh, it's also cheaper too, side note. Now obviously I'm just a guy, a homeowner kind of working on this thing. Adding a gas line is probably one of the more dangerous things because you know, gas, flammable. You want to exercise some common sense and be comfortable with what you know already. This is just how I did it. Anyway, let's get started. First thing we've got to do is shut off the gas, obviously. So you had to locate the gas meter right here. It's got a line going into the house here and then a line coming out from the ground. Right down close to the ground, there's a gas shutoff valve that in my case looks like this. There's this kind of flat, part to grip with uh, a wrench and if it's in line with the pipe it's on and then if you turn it now the flat part is perpendicular to the pipe and this should be off so now that this is off we can go ahead and take the pipes apart now obviously it should be off but you know sometimes they leak things like that you should always make sure you don't smell gas Right, so I am wedged under the basement here. Fortunately, I do have a little bit of space, uh, but it's still tight working. Here's the end that I'm on now. Here's my half inch black steel pipe. That's my new gas line. Uh, this latest piece that I've put on isn't tight. Um, and the reason for that is that I'm gonna put an angle joint on here and I can tighten this and tighten that at the same time without having to put like a pipe wrench on here or something like that. So first step, I gotta put uh, pipe dope on these threads. Now this comes in a lot of varieties. Uh, there's like a Teflon tape type pipe thread uh, sealer. There's this like actual pipe dope sealer. Uh, here's another variety that, that will work. The key here though is that all of these are formulated for gas lines. All right, so for this pipe dip, this uh, liquidy paste stuff, just gonna apply a thick coat on the, the male threads here. Make sure it's coated evenly. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and thread my right angle on there. Oh, side note, watch your head. There's low clearance. <clears throat> All right, so that fits. We're gonna go ahead and put pipe dope on this thread right here. This is the riser that actually goes up and connects to the range. So pipe dope on this, then we're gonna go up and we're gonna thread the stop valve on. And that should tighten the stop valve on and also just tighten this on without us having to mess around with pipe wrenches again. So I think that'll work well. It's a plan anyway. So here's our pipe in the little recess that I made in the drywall. Same process, we're gonna coat this with a liberal coating of pipe dope and we're gonna thread our fitting on. You'll probably want to get this fitting as close to the wall as possible so that it doesn't stick out and keep your oven or whatever out from the wall. But that means that as you're turning it, the handle can get in the way. So make it a little bit easier. The handle comes off pretty easily. Right. I didn't record it because ain't nobody got time for that. But I added a strap up here. And another strap right here. Just use plumber's tape. And yes, this is plumber's tape. It's not that Teflon stuff. A uh, couple straps back there so that it's on there really solid. It's not gonna move around. Uh, and uh, 
that should be good. So we're gonna get ready to test the joints here uh, because we have to do that as soon as we turn the gas on. So let's go back top side and make that happen. I've got a cup with measuring units on it and some dish soap. Now all I'm gonna do is just mix up a mixture of dish soap and water. I'll put the water in first because I don't want it all sudsy. I'm gonna make this a mixture of one to one, so pretty, pretty soapy. I'm trying to do this without getting too many bubbles. All right, that looks good. I think we're ready to turn on the gas. All right, let's go ahead and turn this guy on and then we'll run underneath and check for leaks. Crawling under the house is one of the worst parts about this job. All right, so you can see where I started. That right there is the line to our furnace, which was the only gas appliance we had in our house. And I just added that T coupling so that it still goes to the furnace. And then this pipe extends on out over to the range. So that's how I tapped into the gas line. All right, I've got my cup of soap, ratchet, and my first connections that I've made right here. So I'm gonna just coat that fitting with soap and wait to see if I see any bubbles. If I see bubbles, I have a leak. But no bubbles and I'm in good shape. So I've gone into the house and I've poured soap on all the joints, no bubbles and no smell of gas. So I think I'm in the clear. And I'm gonna do one other thing here. I'm gonna take a picture of the gas meter with my phone And then with every gas appliance off, I'm gonna come back in several hours and see if this gas meter has changed at all. Can just compare it with the picture on my phone. If there's a leak, then one of these little hands will have moved a tiny bit to indicate that I've used some gas. The longer I can wait between when I take the picture and when I compare it here, the better, since at this point, any leak I have is probably really small. We are all set. This used to be a really gross old electric stove. Good to go. Love cooking on this. I turned the gas off on everything and waited for 24 hours because I could do that. And the gas meter never changed. So I feel really confident I don't have any leaks. This works great, we're all set and good to go. Now one thing I didn't talk about is the cutting and the threading of the black steel pipe I used. A lot of places like Home Depot and Lowe's and hardware places will cut and thread the pipe to length for you and I really recommend that because it's hard to thread by hand. Um, it does require that you have to like go under, find where your gas line is and carefully measure all the bends ahead of time and then like come in with a list of links and then they can kind of cut the gas line or the black steel pipe to length for you. Um, but it makes it a lot easier because they've got a machine that'll do it in you know, a few minutes. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Once again, obviously a dangerous project. I felt comfortable with my own ability so I did this and it's working well. It's been installed now for several weeks, no problems but you should always know your own ability and think carefully about your own safety. I'm an amateur. I can't tell you what's safe or kosher. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Yeah, I'll put a link up here somewhere and um, you know, maybe watch another video on some random thing. Thanks, guys.